Welcome back to Odin Does Drinks, people, my people. Thank you for that subscription button and the notification little bell that's ding, ding, ding every time I produce something new, which is absolutely every week. In fact, it's multiple times a week and there's even cocktails thrown in. So tonight I'm doing Begin or Begin, depending upon how you want to pronounce it. It turns out I've stumbled upon a Victorian distillery I haven't known about, which is hardly a surprise given how fucking many there are around here. So this is written up in the website I saw as a... Australian dry gin. In fact, it says it straight in front of me with my glasses. Australian dry gin. So, smell of happiness. Not really a lot happening. Um, it's a warm room, so if there's any aromatics happening in this baby, it should be happening. It's hitting gin with drinking weather, but hey, this whole fool thinks that anywhere there's gin drinking weather. So, let's wait and see what the taste of happiness says. If you like your gins, juniper forward. Um, this is stuff for you. I really don't know that much about it. I actually picked up in um, a sample lot, believe it or not. My local uh, bottle over, which I go and visit on a weekly basis just to make sure that they're still in business. So this is really workable. For its price, I think it's fantastic value. It's about $51 for a big bottle. So if you want to go try some quality Victorian stuff, and you want to not spend a fortune on it, this is your stuff. It functions. It's the dry gin. There's not really a lot to say because dry gins are not terribly complex creatures like me. I mean, I'm, trust me, I'm very simple. Ask my ex-wife and she'll tell you just how fucking simple Odin is. Because uh, every time I say to her, how am I? She goes, you're a fucking simpleton. So, yeah, I'm going to wipe some stuff off my mouth. Thank you for subscribing, liking, sharing, and doing all those wonderful things. And just keep on watching these videos because this is the... Australian dry gin from Begin or Be Gin. And if you can't be gin, then be ginned. Because you need more gin, don't you?